Hey there, we're back. This time we're going to do section 3-5, number 9. All right, let's go take a look at it in the book. All right, 3-5, number 9 says that we need to find the five number summary and then construct a box plot. So let me go back to my data. I've got to move my little video guy out of the way. Pay no attention to him. All right, now to do the five number summary, that's the same thing that we just did with DDXL before. So you can do you got to click on the column. Got to do that first. I always forget that. Then go click Add-ins and pull up DDXL, which you of course have downloaded and gotten running. And you click on Summaries. Just as before, you click Summary of one variable, and then you can just click and drag that name over, or you can click on it, press the left hand arrow, and say OK. And there we go. Wonderful. All right, so let me click on this window up here that has all the information we need. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy Window. Text is fine. Let me click OK. Let me go back to Excel. Click up here in an empty cell. I'm going to click on the Home, and I can click Paste. Or you can right-click on that cell and click Paste as well. That works. All right, so question A wants the five number summary. That's the min, Q1, the median, Q3 and the max. Now min, median, and max all get figured out correctly by Excel. So if you want to do Excel to do those, that's fine. But they're right here. Q1 and Q3 do not get figured out correctly from Excel. Um, not according to our books method. So you have to do them using DDXL. There is an alternative to that if you can't get DDXL to work called StatCrunch. But I'll put that in the next tutorial. Alright, there we go. Let's highlight it, make it red. Sure. All right, so there's part A. I've got my five number summary. And then I want to make a box plot. A box plot's going to give me a visual picture of what's going on here. So let me highlight the data again. And there's only two ways to do this. You can do this in DDXL, or again, you can do it in StatCrunch. And I'll show you that in a later tutorial. So let's click DDXL, pick Charts and Plots. Where it says Click Me, click there and you want to pick a box plot. And then again you can click that name and click the left arrow, that's fine. And then did the first row contain variable names? We'll look over here. Yep, it did. My first row is actually a name, so I don't want it to include it. So that I should leave checked. And then I'm going to click OK. There it is. Ta-da! I have a box plot. All right, now let me click on this window. It should make that little bar up there kind of a darker blue. Let me go to Edit, Copy Window, and I'm going to go back to my Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to right-click on a cell, oopsie, right-click, and click Paste. There we go. Now if you want to have it, when you click off, it's not bordered. If you want to give it a border, double-click on it, and it'll bring up the Format ribbon and you want a picture border. So you can click on picture border and you can pick any color you like. I'll pick bright red. Why not? There we go. Alright, we're all done with 3.5. We made a box plot. And by the way, before I check off of this, notice that this is pretty symmetrical. I mean, it's kind of rough, but this lower whisker kind of evens out with this upper whisker if you include these two little outliers up here. Alright, so that's good enough. Let's move on, and next time I see you, it will be to help you do this in StatCrunch if you don't have DDXL. I'll give you another option for that in the next tutorial.